KFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the Market Update at 2 p.m. with me, David White at TFNN. And what do we have today? Well, the market's down a little bit. Uh, we had the Fed uh, really uh, trying to move the markets yesterday. It left me a little bit puzzled on why they thought that they needed to. Um, as we dig deeper into the market, we find out that some of the people that have been incredibly right in the past are predicting doom now. Um, but uh, yeah, they were a little earlier in two, uh, early in 2008. They're probably a little early in, in uh, 2023. But, uh, you know, before it was kind of in 2008, kind of easy to see that many uh, bankers were uh, way over the heads and they got themselves involved in things they didn't understand. And uh, just like Stevie Wonder, when you believe in things you don't understand, you suffer. So... What's going on? Is the Fed uh, was what the Fed did yesterday afternoon around two o'clock a brushback pick uh, pitch just for the day? Uh, was it for longer? Are they going to continue to try to defend the market and get it to go higher? Are they worried about some kind of crash out there? It seems very interesting to me that they would get so uh, involved. Um, it didn't last. Uh, but uh, if you missed it uh, right at the start of the show yesterday, uh, the Fed co-chair came out and said, well, you, you might even get uh, interest rates cuts this year, which, you know, I find rather ludicrous, especially if we look at jobs numbers or uh, some of the other stuff. So why would you say that? Well, maybe it was just to gain some points uh, for a day or two. Um is it to protect maybe some of these people uh, that once again uh, are out there over the tips of their skis? We'll keep an eye on it. Back in a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having 